This is a 1963 Willis, Willis Jeep that was evidently purchased by the Navy for shore patrol duty and stationed at the Jacksonville Naval Air Station here in Florida. Notice the color is Battleship Gray. Most of the Jeeps I've seen have either been Army or Marine Corps, and of course in those colors, but this is the first Navy uh, Jeep I've seen. Notice the webbing back here to prevent people from falling out. And the canvas top, which I'm sure they have plenty of replacements at the uh, Naval Depot. Very basic vehicle, four-wheel drive. And you'll notice that the speedometer coming up to that goes up to 90. Now I'd hate to be in this vehicle at 90 miles an hour. However, I would uh, <laughs> I would bet maybe top speed, what do you think, about 50, something like that, 55. Of course the forte of these vehicles was uh, getting around in abysmal road conditions or off-road Notice the tie downs for the top. Very small plastic window there in the back. And no license plate on the back. They didn't carry a license plate. They carried the vehicle identification number there on the back uh, tailgate. And there's a spare. Very handy. Notice the Air Boss uh, sign there on the dash. I wouldn't be surprised if the owner was connected with the Navy. Perhaps uh, he was a, a pilot for the Navy. Who knows? This would be a nice way to remember your service in the Navy. And you'll notice that the directions are right there on the dash, how to drive it, what speed you need to put it in gears, and so on. It's a neat vehicle. A little, uh, a little bit uh, hazy directions there, but you get the idea. Pretty complete. Shows you the shift patterns. Nice vehicle.